All right, hello, welcome back to the My Summer Car 2021 tutorials update. So if you followed on from the engine build, uh, we forgot this. So if we quickly chug that on and then, um, yeah, it's only a size seven. And then we get straight to the wiring. Um, I'm gonna try and make this as easy and as simple as possible. I want this to be the best tutorial we've done yet. So uh, if we quickly just do this up, and then two at the front, and then we get straight to it. Don't bother changing your spanet size because we're gonna be using that in just a sec for the starter motor and the alternator, alternator, right? So, if we just quickly undo this, that one, and then we're gonna undo the alternator, this bolt here, and now we're gonna put the handbrake on. And we're going to put a battery in. And that's it. Just grab that. Chuck it in here. That's it. Grab your wiring mess. Perfect. Right. So, if you have a look here, you can see the connector for the lights. Yes? We zoom in there. So, we're going to... As soon as you get the check, you're going to push F on the keyboard. You're going to confirm it. And you're going to bring it to the lights connector at the front. And there you go. You have one wire. And then same again, and then you want to click it again on the connector and bring it up to the main harness. And now you have your wire running up to the main harness, yes? And then you're going to do the radiator from there, run it up to the main harness, check, yep, yeah, push F, and that's now running there. And then we're going to do our alternator, we can just grab it, there we go, so click F. Bring it over to your regulator. There we go. So that's now running now. Uh, our ignition coil. We're going to run it over to this plug here at the main harness. What one was that? All right, so that was our... That thing, the regulator. So we'll do that again. There we go. So we got that now running. Now we need to run it to the positive. Over to the main harness. There we go. That was positive, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Positive again down to the starter. Just there. Right. And then we're going to do our negative terminal down to the starter ground connector. There we go. Okay. So, if we have a look, so you can see where all the wires are running. So the ground runs into that one. And then you've got this one which runs up to there and over to there. And I believe that is everything for the front that we have. You know, we haven't got these uh, marker lights, so we can't wire them up, it won't let us. Or will it? No, right, we have to have the marker lights for it to work, all right? So now we're gonna move inside the car. So if we just open that there, get our wiring mess, plop it on the seat quick. And if we take a duck in, so we can see where all the plugs are. So we've got one plug there. And we've got another plug here. And then we've got our thingy there. So if we start off with our ignition. So the ignition switch. F should run to there. The fuse box, yeah? So if we just have a look, see if we can follow that wire. So it goes straight into there. Okay, and then we're going to do our extra gauges, which I believe will plug over into, no, so it is this one, there we go, so if we follow that, so you can see all the wires have appeared, yeah, so they're plugged into there, same with the AFR gauge, there we go, so that should have run in there too, yep, so you've got two, and then we've got dashboard which will be wipers and lights we can just find wait that we just had it instrument panel there we go into the back did we get it and then we've got to run it to the radio harness and then into the fuse box there we go all right so let's check there's our wires it seems everything's plugged in running plugged into Yep, the fuse box. Right, so we've got our instrument panel 2, which will go into the radios. 
this is for this plug here is for your subwoofers and the amplifier at the back yeah so that should where did this plug into this went into the speaker right so we gotta do it again I think radio into the radio harness yep there we go so there you go you that just run in there like I saw and then you've got these things plugged in your speakers and that so we have one more plug to fill yeah which is if we can just find a tick there we go the light switch into you like that and that's our last one this is already running all the way over to here so if we just quickly double check everything it looks like everything is wired up now yep not getting no more checks so now we're gonna move to the back so if we open the trunk then we just get some distance on it as much as we can so we got the reach then we just crouch down we're gonna do the rear light one all the way to the plug there there we go and then this one and then we've got to try and get the fuel tank it's a bit of a tricky one to get this one if we can just crouch down a bit oh wait we had it somewhere there there we go so grab that the fuel tank and this will give you your petrol how much petrol you have left there you go so that is all the wiring done for what we have at the start of the game so when you get your subwoofers and your amplifiers and all your other lights you'll have to add them on but like I said, if you just crouch in, you'll see the plugs and you can see what you filled and what you haven't. All right. So that was the wiring tutorial. Hopefully that it will be the best one we've done yet. And it's more understandable. All right. But what we do is from here is it like I said, if you followed on from the tutorials before for the 2021 January update, you will know what we're about to do next. We've done the engine, we've done the body, so we're gonna take all the caps off now. And we are going to fill up the fluids and then we're gonna get her started, tuned, and see if she passes inspection. So we've got these ones here, this one over here, then this one here. And we'll start off at the front, work our way to the back like always. So, the radiator coolant, we'll start filling up. Oh, there we go. Right, that's that done. So we put that back there. Do that cap up. And then we grab the, put the oil. Pour that in. Right, that's that done. So we put that there. And then, let's close this a minute. Actually, no, because we're going to need you for the bulbs. So if we do this. Right, that's empty. We can grab another one. What, you empty too? Oh wow, we got a leak somewhere. No, I can't see any leaks. Okay. Oh, we're stuck in the ground. So we grab the last one. What was that? Oh no, we're not leaking. Right, you're not empty, no. No, right, so I think they're all filled. They're all done. Right, wicked. So we can put their caps on. Like I saw. So we got that one, and then we just need to fill her up with fuel and see if she starts. Oh wait, we've got to do our bolts up too. Oh well, she definitely won't start. So yeah, once you've done your wiring, well, you're still following on anyway, so just get your spanner out. We should have the number seven on us. So we just switch that to that. So we're gonna need to do this up. And then we've got one down here. 
and then we've got a new one which I think is a size 5 or a size 6 we'll start with, with a size 5 and it's uh, yep yeah, there we go size 5 and that should be all done up and then we're going to need to do our battery up which is a size 8 these are basically final preps so one two and then we can quickly put our lights in so just turn them around here one that one seems to be stuck to the wall two we got our light boxes so just pop them open to get them out of the way and there we go just that should there we go one Oh, come on, get in there. Two. Right, there we go. So, headlight right. In you go. And then headlight left. In you go. Then we just got a spanner out. I think these are size sevens. Yep, size sevens on the headlights. That's it, one more there. And then just this one over here. And this one over here and then we can put our grill on whatever grill you've got it doesn't matter whatever you feel like going with right so there we go oh check you on there <clears throat> uh, size four size six I think it is Yep, there we go. I don't know why I said size 4. It's not even a size 4 in the game. Right, that's that done. And then we just put our front bumper on. There's no point putting the hood on yet because we're going to be tuning into a sec for inspection. So, if we just do this. Like so. And then it's a size 8. Again, same as the back. There we go. Grab that one. And that one, right, let's go and put the fuel in the back. Everything should be ready. So if we just take this cap off. Lovely, let's go grab our jerry can. Drop you there, open you up, and pour you in. You should get half a tank out of this. More than enough to get you over, oh shit, didn't want to do that. More than enough to get you over to inspection and um, it, well, basically into town, so you can fill her up all the way if you've got the money, and yeah, do whatever you need to do. There we go. Right. So I'll just chuck you down there. Actually, we put you in the boot. Because, like I said, whatever you want. I don't know if I'm going to continue this game after season two or use it as a personal one. But let's go see if she starts. Here we go. Right. Pull the choke out. Check and. We've got power, she's turning, is she going to start? Come on baby, give us the gas. Come on. There we go, she's alive. Lovely. Right. Perfect. Yeah look, just over half a tank of fuel there. Lovely. Wait, is she going to stay idle? Let's um, put that choke in. Ooh. Yep, she's staying idle. Right, so let's give her a minute to warm up, and then we're tuna, and then we go inspection. All right, guys? So I'll see you in a minute. All right, she is warmed up. So we're going to get to the tuning. We'll start off with the air fuel ratio. So. We need our screwdriver. Let's shut the door quick. Get this out. Lovely. Right, so you can see the color of the smoke. Really bad, really gray. What we want to do is we want to get that almost clear. So, to pass uh, inspection with good emissions, you need to have it tuned between 14.7 and 15. And as you can see, that's really not there. So, what you want to do is, I think we scroll back towards our hand, let's have a look, 
No, right, so the scrolling forward on the um, old scroll wheel, yeah? So the scroll forward. There we go, she's at 12. We're on 14, 7, 15. Let me find that screw again. Where are you? There you are. Keep going. Keep going. You can hear the RPM, like the idle rev, slowly go up. There we go. Right, so we're at 15. I'm going to bring that. Actually, I reckon that'd be fine where it is. Let's have a look. Almost. Right, let's bring it down just a little bit. So it's at 50. Yeah, it's a bit higher, 15.7. So let's just scroll back. One, two, three. How's that? There we go. How's that? Almost good. Right, so now what we want to do is we want to put that away. Oh, no, we don't. We want that. We want a size 7. And then... We want to undo this, and this, and this. That's it. One more to go. That's it, pop that off. And then we want our screwdriver again. And then we're just gonna crouch in over there. And we're going to scroll back until it starts tapping. Wait there. Right, you're going to keep scrolling back if it starts tapping. It's a bug in the game. That's it. And then just scroll back. So one, two. Then same again. Right, so tap. One, two. So you're scrolling back towards your hand until you hear this tapping. Yeah? Then you're scrolling forward. Two. And if it starts tapping straight away, and it doesn't stop, keep scrolling back, right? Because it's a bug in the game, so keep scrolling back. See, look, it's just done it to me, so I'm going to keep scrolling backwards, and it will stop. And then keep scrolling until it starts again, and then scroll forward twice, yeah? So we've got that. So one, two. All right? And they will fix it. you just got to be patient. So we're going to keep going back. One, two, forward. Can we reach this one? Uh, we can. Right. One, two. And then over here. Right, so it's done it again. So I'm going to keep scrolling backwards towards my palm until it stops. And then I'm going to keep scrolling backwards until it starts again. And then we scroll forward, all right? So there. One, two, forward. Probably better if we go around the other side for this one. And then we'll do it again, so scrolling back, because we've done it again, it's done it again, so keep scrolling backwards, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, there we go, right, so one, two, same here, is it done it again, no, this one's fine, right, so there, one, two, right, now she's all tuned, she's pretty much good to go, so we're going to pop this back on. Uh, get a tightened back up. Uh, number seven. So we'll just quickly see what the time is. Hopefully, we can make the inspection shop. We've got the money, so we should be fine. We just need to put the hood on. So, like that. Like that. And then the other side. I've got to go around this side. Looks like a proper rust bucket this time round, doesn't she? This baby blue colour. There we go. Right. Lovely. Let's go and put the hood on. Let's quickly check what the time is, actually. We might be able to make it now. Oh, yeah. Wicked. It's only 20 past one. We get the hood on. We go straight there. Let's grab you. Oh, wait. Don't forget to take the triangle off the back of your tractor. We need that to pass. That's it. Size six. Perfect. Pop it. Lovely. Right. That's it. Then just crouch down. Quickly get these done up. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Right. Um. 
triangle. Let's go grab that and then we'll make our way straight to the inspection shop. That's it, yep. Pick you up. Doesn't matter where you put it in the car, as long as it's in the car, you will pass. Right, there we go. Let's go. Straight to the inspection shop. Uh, let's take this just in case we fail on our emissions, but I'm pretty sure we're all right. Right, let me double check everything. I think we've got everything in it. Front bumper's on. Rear bumper's on, rear lights. Let's take a wire mess in case we missed something. I'm pretty sure we didn't know. Everything started up, lights are working. Bumper's on, hood's on, wheel's on. Right, yeah, we're definitely good to go to the shop. So let's go before it closes. That's it, do that. Driving mode, seat belt, handbrake. Rev, chuck you in reverse. I hope she's moving. That's a good sign. All right, so, she's not turning. I've got to sort my steering out again. Right, wait up. So, steer left, steer right. There we go. Indicators are working. Please check. Yep, we got indicators, so everything's wired up fine. Let's get back in, turn you off. Right, we should be able to drive now, so we'll quickly take the drive together. Lovely. We got good power. She's driving straight. So, I will see you guys at inspection. Alright, so we are coming up to inspection now. Hopefully we're going to pass it. I mean, I think I'm right on the emissions. I think we tuned that right from season 2, I learned that. So, we just... Um... That's it. Nice and easy. Stay idle. Good. She's at... Yeah, still at about 15, so that's good. Let's do that. Uh, we should have enough money to do this. Hopefully we only have to do it once while we're stuck on. Come on. Right, let's do this quick. I don't know how much time we got left. Yes, do it. Let's go sit down here and wait. Lovely. Fingers crossed, guys. We should be able to do this, man. I think we've, um, we've uh, done all everything that we needed to that was necessary. We made sure everything was working. Uh... Emissions should be all right, so we just wait and see. You are such a character with this car of yours. Am I? Am I really? Right, did we do it? We should have. Yes. Nice. Right, so you got it all. Uh, service brake, check, parking brake, drive left, drive right, rear left, rear right. Warning triangle, see, got to have your warning triangle. Uh, suspension's all in, yeah, tie rods are in, steering axle, so everything's in. Uh, look, drive systems, windshield, driver's seat, front tyre alignment, we did that well, so yeah. Uh, instrument panel, so wiring, transmission, steering wheel, engine, emissions, so we passed on emissions now, so... 14, 7, and 15 is what you want, all right? So if this wiring tutorial helped you out, hopefully it's been a lot better than my previous wiring tutorials. I tried to put a bit more time and effort into this one. So hopefully you find it, guys, you guys find it a lot easier to follow, you know? And yeah, all right? So if it helps you out, hit that like button. If you want to stick around for future tutorials for my summer car, my winter car when it gets released, hopefully some point this year, um, yeah, alright, so just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're always notified when there is an upload, whether it be my summer car or my winter car or any other game that suits your needs or interests, alright? As always, thank you for watching, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.